Hello everyone and welcome back to Greater Persia. Now in the last episode, Uncle Adolf up here decided to throw us a little curveball by releasing Vichy France. And yeah, well it left me a little dumbfounded, but I still think we can probably work around it. What it will mean though is that we're most likely not going to go to war with Turkey just yet because I think the way it works and again I'm not 100% certain on this I didn't have the time to research it yet but I think the way it works is that you if you attack somewhere if you attack into a foreign territory from your friendliest territory not your own then they get the province you attacked into and of course we we wouldn't want that so what we'll, what we'll probably do is uh, very shortly, which is to say now, make the preparations to do some, some paratrooping in the not so distant future. And then we'll just attack across this strip of land and encircle them with paratroopers. I think that's where we're going to go for anyway. And then somewhere down the line, I think it's inevitable to restore the greatness of the ancient Persian Empire to declare war on the Axis too. But that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. So what we'll do is just use the time we have at our hands to push as fast and as hard as possible into India, secure as much land as we can there, all the while securing our foothold in Egypt. So, yeah, not much more to say. Let's get to it. So we're doing some fighting here. We're also doing some fighting here. Now, where is the southern border of Fishy France? So that's them, that's them, but this is not. So if we just attack across here, that should be pretty good. And then we just need to take care that we don't go south from these provinces, but only west from there. All right, what else? Some divisions without stuff happening. I'm not that much, not that concerned. Right over here. What else can we do? There is some in inactiveness. Inactivity, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Going on over here. Quite a bit of movement, you can just cross over. So can you. Now what about you? I think you too... Oh, you're already doing that. Right, let's refocus on the Eastern Theater. The Western Theater, rather. And we'll just... Oh, we probably don't want to attack in there. Hmm. Let me try to encircle them. Uh, no, that wasn't what I wanted. Let me try that again. There we go. So we'll try this movement. Also, these plants... No, we'll stick with them. Right, and up here... I think there really is nothing more to say about this. We want... Well, at least some stability in the region, so we're most likely going to end up driving the British from the immediate surroundings anyway. Looking over to the east, however, everything looks fine and dandy, you might say. You know, there's really no reason to slow down here. We're apparently anticipating a naval invasion, which may or may not be the reason why British Raj here has been, well, so underrepresented on the coast, on the coast. Well, I don't know how accurate this is actually. So I think we'll just stay here and watch what happens. Right. This isn't really too much of a surprise here. 
Also, although I do seem to have lost control about the amount of the positioning of troops down here. So let me just try if I can do some of this manually. Oh, there we are. Some attacking going on here. So what we'll do is just pincer you from the other side and be done with it. We can do another... So, paradrops. We will want them at some point, and submarines I'm not all too hot about. Air support, however. Yeah. That's gonna be the most immediate benefit to us. In any case, we are... Yeah, we're still fighting in the Middle East. Alright, we're making good headway here in the west. We'll help help our French friends to make some good ground. Why are we attacking over there? Mm. Well, having said that, just surrounding them would probably be a bit good idea. All right. Having seen this, we can also make a little flank maneuver. Hong Kong has been seized by the Japanese. Well, they are really making a lot of progress into the Chinese mainland here. Definitely haven't seen the last of the Japanese here. Alright, so I think one one factory doing transport planes is more than enough. With the state of paratroopers as they are, will be more than more than good. Oh, we apparently seized quite a number of factories here. So let me try and balance them. Kind of equally so that we can end up recruiting even more people. We have all the manpower already allocated to these, so yeah, what we have here is going to be more than enough. Still, we need more of the good old Russian steel, and all the rest we have enough of. Right, we're, why are we attacking so dumb moves? That's better. Also, why are you moving? It says... No plans are active. Oh well. Alright, we can just very easily take these. Mm. I think I still want to take these provinces over here in the name of France. Or nationalist France. Just so that we can end up having somewhat acceptable borders around the region. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. Ugh, it's appalling. Alright, we did end up finishing our last and best research slot, really. Which brings us to the end of the political focus tree. And now, I think it's just time to focus on army for a while. Can't really think of a reason not to. We also, uh, we are working on motorized already. Ah, no, focus. Yeah, so let's just go for army doctrine, focus. And we can use that later on. In the meantime, mm, Probably get to work on some tanks sooner rather than later. But it's 1940 and that also means that some support weapons are on the menu. Yeah, I'm not being incredibly efficient with my troop movements here, but I'm just keeping score anyway. I don't really 
necessarily think we can win this battle, but we at least can delay them. Hungary did join the Axis. That is good news indeed. You can make your way over there. Also, you... Hmm. This battle isn't going too well. I think it should just pull out. Also think that a change in leadership is probably a good idea down here. So let's try and make that happen. So right now, yeah, you have in Afghanistan. I want you to have no commander for the time being. And this army should be led by our desert fox. Now we have a couple of excess soldiers in here. So we'll just take some of you. 6 of you to be precise, assign you to that order, and if you commanded by Field, Ma Field Marshal Esmail Rokhni. So you can reinforce the Eastern Front, it will be a while before you're up and ready to go, but that will mean now that our, let's even call the army desert, that our Desert Fox is where he's best fighting in the desert. Alright, you'll redeploy to the east. The second Vienna award. Northern Transylvania was restored to Hungarian rule. So, yeah, the territory has previously been awarded to legionary Romania. Upon the conclusion of World War I, leading to a bitter dispute. Are these the first of many borders to be adjusted now that a new order seems to have been established in Europe? We shall indeed see how long it lasts. Alright, why are we... Oh. Well, we're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Alright, so atomic research is done. We'll still have quite a bit of time left before nukes become a thing. I don't really care about getting ahead of time on nukes too much. So that's pretty much all there is to say about engineering. Some air doctrine probably also wouldn't go in the wrongest the wrongest of directions. But yeah, let's do some let's do some air doctrine. I also wonder Ah yes, we did just start. Time passes so slowly when uh, you're actually fighting, when you're actually playing the game, uh, as opposed to, well, what we've been doing before. Also, why do these keep... You know what, I'm just gonna delete all of your orders, and then you are solely under my command. I think what I want to do uh, first is just get over to this, uh, get over to the Mediterranean coast and by means of that make certain that we don't get into border conflicts here or any unclear business as to who is, who's going where, who's getting what. Couldn't be having that. Mm, what we are having right here is a problem though. No, I think it's fine. We'll just keep on pressing on. We'll backstab this unit. We can also make our way over here. Mm. Now this pincering thing didn't really work out too well. We'll try to make my way over to that side. Once again he decided to attack here. Which I'm not incredibly hot about, but we will... We will prevail. Alright, over here we have a couple of mountains here and there, but I think we can do our best uh, fighting well from the from the deserts uh, that we can fight in. Well Jesus I'm <laughs> Just losing track of my thoughts all around the place. So, the 
Treaty of Craiova. More concessions have been forced out of legionary Romania, with Bulgaria reclaiming southern Dobrusta. Dobrusta? The territory was announced annexed by Romania in 1913 after the Second Balkan War and is still mostly populated by ethnic Bulgarians and Turks. Regardless of the reasoning, legionary Romania now stands significantly politically weakened. So, what was this about? This, two provinces. That's, that's a significant weakening, if I've ever seen one. How many people are living here? It's 400,000. That is quite a lot, considering how small the state is, but still. That's no news, man. Alright, so let's just smack down the British any way we can. We're having a little... Having some issues with the... Uh, the combat width here, but I think we can deal with that. Alright, what did just finish? It was the improved infantry equipment. Well, that's very nice. I also think that paratroopers are in order because we want to invade Turkey after all. And then we'll just... Alright, we have five additional factories, so let's call it two for you, two for you, and one for you. Yeah, let's make it that way. We will need to imp need to import quite a bit more that way, though. What if we don't do this, but instead... Mm, oh, hang on. One of the quick and dirty sneezes. They just... they don't announce themselves for a lot of time. Alright, so this way we don't we only have to keep to get two shipments. Yeah, let's do it that way. Steel is in abundance. Alright, so that's that's working. It's moving forward. So is oh Leon Trotsky is dead. One of the top lieutenant and heir, one, once the top lieutenant, excuse me, and heir presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, died today in a Mexico City hospital. He was attacked in his home with an ice axe by a Spanish national believed to have been in the employ of the NKVD. After a failed power struggle with Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent there the 30s in exile, living in Turkey, France, and Norway before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and the, quote, degenerated worker state of the Soviet Union. How barbaric. Alright, so what's, what's going on here? I can use a bit of support over here. Well, this bit up here really is a problem. But why are we not moving forward in this this vein? All right, you will go that way, and you will instead go this way. You can already tie these troops. No, oh, we will in fact force march down there. Why are you redeploying? I have no idea. We will just keep on marching on. We can also support this attack. That one's looking rather nice. And over here. Right, we finally took almost all of the old lands of the French colonial state here. So let's go ahead and push further into Sinai here. Well, yeah, I think I think I'll set up another another front line or another um, what they call it, another battle plan once I est actually established a front line here. Also, there's probably no need to attack across the river here in any direction. 
So let me take you and redirect you around the outskirts toward Jerusalem. Same with you. You're moving. You are training, and we have quite a quite a number of soldiers here who are soon to be deployed in Persia's great army. Alright, the territories down here shouldn't be too much of a problem to take. And I think the next thing will be just wrapping around like so. I'm even going to redraw this line to look something like this. You know, let me even do this now. How would I do that? Oh, let's just crap the entire plan and set up a front line here. And an advancement line. Oh, to where exactly? Let's just call it these states over here and we'll just sneak our way over like so. We'll have to do... No, we won't even have to do manual manual conquest in the north. It's all taken care of. How very nice. What isn't taken care of is the south down there, but yeah, we're doing that. I'm still not 100% uh, familiar or comfortable with the use of these battle plans. I feel like either I'm doing something wrong or they're just not uh, not the best tool for macro management in all the situations. But no, they're pretty neat, I have to say. So yes, we did do, well, considering the amount of territory gained, we did quite a good job in this. Every inch, however, was quite quite hard fought and yeah this is exactly where we are going to be continuing in the next episode so until then and as always thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i've been described and i shall see you soon